Warning, I, Dan Lanks, am going to completely blow your mind during this Minecraft video. So if you enjoy console Minecraft, hit that like button and subscribe for more block placing awesomeness. Yo, what's up guys? It's Dan Lags, and I am back again for another episode of The House Tours here in Danville. This is episode number 33. And today we're going to be taking a look at this really ultra modern house right here. I'm going to be calling this one ultra modern house number two. This is the second one I built. Uh, really abstract modern design and I actually really like the way this one turned out. It's one of my favorite houses in the entire world. So we're going to take a tour. Right off the bat we got this little design here in the front. And uh, I got this from one of the uh, Corrales Inspiration Series videos. And basically the guy who built the house in the world of Corrales had like a front yard with a whole bunch of water pathways. And I loved that. I absolutely loved it. That was one of the really cool things. Um, uh, it's I don't usually get too much... Uh, inspiration from that series but that one in that video in particular really struck me and right i guess and i really was like wow i really need to try something like that in my world so um yeah so i, I went ahead and tried this design if you haven't seen that video uh you can just go on corrales's channel you'll probably find it it's just like a modern house tour that he's uploaded within the last week or so and uh yeah so this is the idea i got from that just kind of like a little pathway of water that runs through the front yard and you can go from any different locations you can go over here to like this little sitting area if you just hop along the pathway a little sitting area over here and then if you come back over here you can come towards the front of the house there's a big ice window and uh, you can walk along the lily pads or fail like me and fall in the water and this takes you to two different directions you can head that way or that way into the house or you can go straight through to the uh, little courtyard in the middle so basically i i, I planted this huge tree here um, got some little glowstone coming down from it. Just a little effect, and there's a little courtyard in the middle. Uh, I'll show you guys from an aerial view what it looks like. There's a little grill over here. You can walk along this little, like, I guess a pathway that leads up to this little bench. A little waterfall here. Um, you know, some birch trees, and s I think this looks nice. So, I'll just show you guys what it looks like from an aerial view. The whole house, in general, is a kind of a big O-shaped with a big tree heading down the middle. And uh, this is, I love this house. This is one of my favorite houses I've ever done. Um, I, it's funny because I, I sketched out a little idea for this on a piece of paper before I started. And I was thinking to myself, well, I'm going to try to make it like an O shape, a little courtyard in the middle. And it actually turned out just the way I wanted it to. So uh, we'll, we'll take the tour, guys. We'll go on in the inside. The inside is a bunch of furnishing and stuff like that. So we'll head on the inside. And I'm going to start from the right side. So right here is kind of the main room. And this is uh, like a whole bunch of different things. So you've got a little kitchen, or the kitchen's over here. That's This is a little sitting area, which has a nice view. And as you can see, all the water's gone in, in the, like the front yard, which is uh, funny because the ice makes it so wild you can't see the water. So that, that looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Like without the water. And uh, yeah, so we got the sitting area. We got the little kitchen over here with all your stuff. Some sitting areas for the kitchen and our little table here. You can eat breakfast or something like that. Some shelving. And then this, this door also leads out into like the courtyard area. Um, that leads to the dining room. We'll go there in a minute. But if you walk up the staircase here, well, you have to jump up it because it's like a slab staircase, as you can see. Tried to do that. I, I've done that a couple times before, but not in houses that you guys have seen. So um, this is the first house you've seen me do something like that. But And there's just an extra bed up here on this little balcony, which looks over. And this has a really nice view of everything. So we'll head back down and go over here. So this is the dining room table. Uh, it's not really a dining room, but it has a little table. And this is where you eat food and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. This leads out to the backyard. We'll go out there in a little while. Uh, basically, the whole house just loops around, and there's just like certain stuff that leads off like the central pathway. Right here is a little um, powder room. Not a ton of privacy, but that's fine. It's a modern house. It tends to be like that. Uh, right here is the second, like this little bedroom area. Obviously, a bed. It's got a nice little window that leads into the uh, the courtyard. Some a little dresser there, and this is like the TV room. So as you see, big TV some chairs to sit at an office space over here so like a little computer laptop thingamabob some uh, shelving and like some skylights which look nice and obviously we got some shelving up there as well I like the whole thing this looks pretty good so uh, we're gonna walk over here now and we've got another bed here so there's three beds in this house and uh, it's pretty cool so so there's the bed and sitting area over here and this loops you there's a whole bunch of stuff around here let's just take a look at this uh, this loops you all the way back around to like the central area, which is right here. So it's looking pretty good. And uh, that's pretty much it. We'll just take a look at the backyard. Short episode. This house is 
medium size, but there's really not a ton to look at on the interior. So we got a little grill here. Uh, just like a little table. And then you climb up on this, and then we got the little private beach. And obviously you can see there's the neighboring beach, which is the Modern Mansion Let's Build right there. So this is a really nice area of the map in terms of the neighborhood. And uh, those little floaty things in the water. Like you can lie on and just chill, read a book in the water, or whatever you want to do. And then if you walk over here, this, this little pathway leads to the hot tub. You can just jump right into the hot tub here. The hot tub has an ice... Uh, wall on this side so you can't even tell that there's water in there from this side that's just kind of cool and then over here is just another sitting area with a pig that might kill himself in the fire that would be very tragic if he did and this is just kind of like the back lawn of the house pretty much and got some like foresty areas over there so that's pretty much it guys um this is actually one of my favorite houses that i built let me, let me know what you guys think obviously really really modern uh, just trying to give you guys some inspiration for modern houses. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tour. Make sure you click that like button if you liked this house or if you got some inspiration or whatever. I know I got some inspiration from Corrales, and I went ahead and given you guys some inspiration now. So um, that's it, guys. It's been Dan Lags, and I will talk to you guys on the next episode. Peace out.